Okay, questions? We got a flight to catch. <laughs> Eric, what did to say about your team 19 down early in the second, so much going through this season to find a way back in this one? Yeah, I think that's been the fabric of our group the entire year. Um, you know, every single game, regardless of what's going on, the guys are laying it out there. And, and if we have had any deficits, uh, uh, our, our guys have always fought back and, and made it a game. Um, but our confidence, you know, is continuing to grow in those close games. I don't know if anybody is playing more close games than us. So um, the guys love it. Um, you know, even after the disappointing uh, double overtime loss the other night, uh, Nobody was hanging their heads yesterday. Uh, they loved the, the competition. They were disappointed that um, they weren't able to pull it out, but they learned from it and came back. And it was it was great to see a, a very similar situation, up six, um, but having to close the game. Um, and we did it differently, obviously, than we did the other night. Great energy in the, in the second half. Those moments when you go after the 11 nothing start and UD's in the huddle letting yeah, it's the best. Yeah, those things like that, being down 19 in the second. You've talked for 30 games now about how you need to go through things like this. Is tonight almost like a, I mean, is can it be a step where you get past these humps about the slow starts and things of that nature? And like we said the other night, too, games are long. Are, the, are all those points sinking in now? Well, it, everything that happens to you in the NBA is an, is an opportunity to build your, your team character um, one way or another. Uh, and our group has has um, really improved and every every time we've had one of these games um, even when we we've dropped them um, that uh, we've, we've gained some confidence uh, gained some some knowledge from it um, guys are getting a little bit more cohesive and, and trusting each other and you know Hassan even mentioned to me yesterday that that group that finished the game it, they haven't played a lot of minutes together all season um, I forgot what he told me he knew it by the you know the decibel how many uh or uh by the by the exact number of how many minutes that group has played but um you know they they enjoyed it and uh were able to close it out and i think it was a little bit of a hangover um you know from the other night at the beginning of the game but uh, again when you have a leader like ud um you know that that message resonates more coming from him particularly early on and and just kind of settled the group what Justice Winslow did and how he did it, going to the floater game, getting himself in the lane, being active for rebounds. Yeah. What does this type of effort say about his possibilities? Uh, well, he's a multi-dimensional player, and, and he really works at it. Um, you know, we have a lot of hard workers uh, in that locker room. Um, Justice Winslow, for a 20-year-old, is as committed as, as any one of them, if not more. I mean, he gets in here extremely early every single day, stays late. Um, he's working on his game, and you, you see improvement. Even when he was out, he was working on his finishes with his right. Um, and and what, what you saw was, uh, you know, the competitive playmaking that he's that he's had but now you put the ball in his hands and he can make some plays uh for your team offensively as well extremely physical eric you talked a little bit about the closing group how nice is it to have them healthy and available so you can play them together what do you like about that lineup uh, well they're you know we have a very competitive locker room and this is uh <coughs> these are the most competitive guys in that locker room um and you saw that justice hitting the deck time and time again, um, just with the physicality and force and desperation uh, to try to make plays. And and then you see Tyler doing the same thing. Uh, those last two loose balls, uh, Tyler forcing that jump ball, uh, and then the play after that, that long rebound. I don't know if there's too many guards in the, in the league that um, have the guts and the physicality, the toughness to put their nose in there and and come up with those kind of plays. Um, but again, this, the, this group is, is competitive. They enjoy playing uh, with each other, and guys just need more experience together. Coach, not a typical halftime. Uh, yeah. The, can you talk about the maybe an emotional lift of that? Yeah, I, th I think it was. Uh, I really do. Um, I mean, first of all, what incredible class. Um, Shaq uh, displayed, and and uh, he's one of the very best we've any of us have ever seen in front of a mic. I mean, he absolutely engaged the entire crowd. 
Uh, it was like going down memory lane. It felt like 2006 <laughs> in the arena. Um, our young players were sitting there, you know, eyes wide open, and they saw a vision of, of what we're trying to build and what the arena is like when you have a, a legitimate championship contending team and a feel of championship players. Um, but it was a special, um, special uh, presentation. Um, Pat dumping the, the 15 <laughs> strong cards on him. Uh, it was just, uh, it, was, it was great. And I, it definitely had an effect on our players.